Ok. Alright, so we start to chapter 12. Alright, 12.1. Okay, uh, chapter 12 basically is about the coordination and response to humans. So, 12.1, we are going to learn about coordination and response. So, first of all, in this chapter, what you are going to learn is, okay, first terms. What means by sensitivity? Okay, sensitivity is the ability to detect changes in the environment and respond to these changes okay and stimulus what mean by stimulus so stimulus is known as the change that stimulates the response okay so for the stimulus there are two types okay first of all the external okay di bahaya luar okay which is for example like sound okay and also what else temperature pressure Okay, touch. So all that considered under external stimulus. And for the second one is internal stimulus, okay, which is in our body, in human body. For example, the blood osmotic pressure, changes in blood, temperature, and also the changes in the blood sugar level. Alright, so in this topic, you are going to learn, alright, uh, how receptor okay detect the stimulus and then this stimulus will give will make sure the body respond to it. So first of all, you need to know what is means by receptor. Okay, so the receptor is a special sensory cell that can detect. Okay, it can detect the stimuli and then convert into the nerve impulse. All right, and then after the receptor detect the stimulus and then convert into the nerve impulse. Okay, so what we'll do next? Okay. Then the nerve impulse will bring that uh, message, okay, the okay message to the brain, and then what the brain do? So our brain will integrate, and also we translate the nerve impulse and coordinate the response. So after the brain already tell you, okay, the rest, the this is the information, and then you have to respond like this. So next, what happened? Okay, the nerve, okay, the nerve impulse will carry the information to the effector, and then effector is what? So usually the effector is the part of the body that will respond. So next slide, I will tell you the example for internal stimulus and also external stimulus. Okay, are you ready? Okay, next. Okay, this is the example, the pathway involved in detecting and responding to change in the external environment. Okay, di bahagian luar. Contohnya, right, some game, uh, like, okay, for this slide, I'm going to share with you, like say for example, okay, all of you have phone, okay, so let's say your phone ring, okay, ring, and then, okay, the phone is ringing, so the sound from the ring is actually the stimulus, right, the sound from the phone, okay, ringing is a stimulus, and then this sound will be detected your, by your sensory organ, which is the ears, okay, in the ears, there is, there are receptor, and this receptor will detect the sound. And then that receptor will transform the sound into the nerve impulse and will okay, will the nerve impulse will send through to the sensory neuron and then go to where? Go to our brain. Okay. And then the brain will integrate the message and then tell the response. So what is the response? So the response is okay. Uh, now the nerve impulse are sent through the motor neuron and then right what you do next is uh, your effector which is your hand muscle we respond what to do to pick up the phone and then answer the call okay this is external environment it means that the sound is the external environment okay next but the next slide is internal environment okay so this is the pathway involved in detecting and responding to change in internal environment. So, for example, internal environment like blood pressure, okay, body temperature. Okay, so first of all, you need to know what is coordination. Okay, coordination is a stimuli detection process by receptor that end in appropriate responses by effector to ensure the overall activity and also system 
of the organism function perfectly. So this is known as coordination. Okay, and the coordination being conducted by two systems, which are nervous system and also endocrine system. Okay, so for example, okay, like this. Stimulus, okay, the internal environment stimulus, for example, the blood pressure increase during running. So you lari, 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 and then your blood pressure increase. Okay, so means that the there is a stimulus inside the body. The internal environment uh, give you stimulus. Okay, the blood pressure increase during running, and then this blood pressure will be detected by the receptor. Okay, for example, in this situation, the baroreceptor, which is uh, Okay, detect the uh, increase in the blood pressure. Okay, and then uh, next, this uh, baroreceptor, which is in the aortic arch and, and also carotid artery, okay, will send the impulse through the sensory neuron, go to where? Okay, it will go to the center, uh, it will go to the, uh, in, go to the brain, okay, which is the uh, the part is the medulla oblongata, and then it will integrate the information. And the nerve impulse are then sent through back to the, uh, sorry, the nerve impulse then sent through the sensory neuron to the effector. And then what are the, res what are the response by the effector? Okay, the, okay, there are a weakened contraction of the cardiac muscle and also the expansion of the blood vessel diameter so that it can reduce the blood pressure okay in your body so it can become normal not so uh, not so tinggi lah right so now for the type of receptor okay uh, in your textbook you will notice there is a table that explain to you the type of receptor so first of all you need to know what means by sensory receptor so sensory receptor okay which is we can found at the end of the nerve fiber detect information in the external and also internal environments and usually the location for the sensory receptor uh, depends on the type of stimulus detected lah. okay for example okay sensory receptor photoreceptor okay if this photoreceptor will stimulate okay photoreceptor will stimulate the stimulus is light so takkanlah sense photoreceptor ada pada tangan you pada finger you so of course they are dekat bahagian mata, betul tak? Okay, and then thermal receptor, okay, which is the stimulus, uh, okay, change in temperature. Chemo receptor, chemical substance, dekat mana? Dekat bahagian lidah kita, betul tak? Smell, okay, that's why we can smell, we can detect all that things. Alright, baru receptor, which is change in pressure. Contohnya tadilah, internal environment, contohnya blood pressure, okay. And then mechanical receptor, touch and pressure, and also nociceptor, which is the stimulus is the pain. Okay, so now we go to the last one. Why we need all this response? Okay, what are the necessity of response? Kenapa kita perlu respond? Why we need to respond? Alright, there basically there are three reasons. Okay, uh, the necessity of response. The first of all is to survival for the survival of organism. We have to survive. For example, katakanlah ada bunyi fire, uh, bell ring, sangat panjang. Okay, we know that that is a uh, the apa orang kata alarm for ada kebakaran. Okay, contohnya. And then takkan you nak stay? Stay mesti lah you nak lari, betul tak? So this is one example lah. Kalau internal, contohnya you have uh, you have lari lari lari, and then you punya blood pressure sangat tinggi. So kalau macam your body cannot respond, then it become worse lah kalau darah you masih tinggi the blood pressure so increase okay <coughs> and then next sorry okay second necessity for response is okay we can respond to it changes in the internal environment macam saya cakap tadi lah like i said just before okay for example contoh lah you demam okay your demam means that the body temperature in your body increase so what happened does your body will do something? Yes, of course your body will do something to down the body, your body temperature. Takkan nak biar setiap 38, 39, 38, 39, betul tak? Okay. And then lastly, to adapt the changes in the environment so that when we can respond to the environment, we can adapt to the environment so we can survive. Okay. I hope this video can help you to have a... Um, figure about the response. Right, see you next video. Bye.